Hey YouTube, welcome back to Jerry's NBA Talk TV. I'm NBA Jerry, and thank you for watching. Uh, just making a quick video here, taking a quick stroll down the street. I don't want to get hit by this car. I uh, just wanted to talk to you guys for a minute about the Chicago Bulls and Atlanta Hawks series. Uh, first of all, congratulations to the Bulls. They have advanced. Uh, like a lot of people thought, they advanced to six in dramatic fashion. Uh, Derrick Rose played outstanding basketball. And also, Carlos Boozer was his 20 and 10 self. So, if he plays like that and the Chicago Bulls play that team game, they're going to be tough to beat. So, I'm going to talk about the Chicago Bulls and the Miami Heat a little bit later. I'll probably make a couple videos during the day. I'm just getting my day started. I'm taking a walk. This is actually my second video I did. I, up, I, I recorded one video, but it was, I guess it was too long. It was like six minutes or something like that. And it said the Android couldn't upload it because of uh, it was too big. It was over one gig. So I'll try to make this short and simple, which would probably be good for you guys. Uh, but I want to talk to you guys also for a minute about LeBron James. Um, you guys know how I feel about him. He was my favorite player for a long, long time until he pulled a stunt he did in the summer. Well, LeBron is kind of like, I look at him kind of like a little brother. You know, I got, love, I got a lot of love for that dude, man. And when you make a mistake, I don't care that you made the mistake. I just want you to do two things. One, admit you did it, and two, own up to it. And that's for everybody, and that's what you have to do uh, to learn. And that's the best way to learn. You learn from your mistakes. The more mistakes you make, actually, the better you become. And I'll talk to you guys about that in later videos. But when LeBron handled the summer and everything he did and throughout the season, uh, I didn't like it because he was very arrogant. And that went against who he was and why I liked him and followed him. Well, now I'm starting to see the old LeBron James after game five of the Boston series. Uh, he came through big in the fourth quarter. Dwayne Wade carried the team through the first three, and LeBron finished it out in the fourth. And he scored the last ten points, and he did it in dramatic fashion. So, uh, you know, LeBron, to me, the way he kneeled down on one knee and thought about everything, that everything was going on, and uh, I, I found myself kind of rooting for him. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, like I said, he's like a, a younger brother to me. You know, I've been following him since the 10th grade. And uh, I follow his career uh, very thoroughly, and I know a lot about that young man. And I haven't watched more basketball or anybody's more games than I have LeBron, except Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. Those two are the only people that I've watched more games than LeBron, but I'm probably catching up to Kobe because um, LeBron, on the league pass, I've watched so many games with him. But that's neither here or there. Uh, what I want to talk about is LeBron James. Uh, again, I just lost my train of thought, sorry. Oh, LeBron James playing against the Boston Celtics. That's a big That's a big win for him. I mean, we all know what Michael Jordan went through with the Boston Celtics. I mean, excuse me, with the Detroit Pistons. And Michael Jordan, as a lot of people know, uh, lost three years in a row. And then he finally overcame the Pistons and beat them in a sweep. Well, LeBron did it a little different. Uh, he lost to them a couple times. Twice, he lost to them in 2010. He lost to them in 2008 when they won the championship. And uh, he did a little different. He actually went to the Miami Heat and tried to beat LeBron. I mean, tried to beat uh, the Boston Celtics. And uh, he did it. He finally did it with Dwayne Wade because Dwayne Wade has lost to the Boston Celtics as well. And he got it done. And when he went on his one knee. Like I said, I was, I was rooting for him. I really was. And then once he went to the podium and actually said those words that I've been waiting for for a year now, almost a year, he apologized. He apologized about the way how he handled the summer. And that's all I wanted him to do and a lot of people wanted him to do. That's all we wanted to do. So once he did that, I'm not saying he's, not my, I'm not saying he's my favorite player again, but uh, he's definitely getting on my good side. So if he keeps this up, uh, we'll see. But I'll be making a video uh, today about the Miami Heat and the Chicago Bulls series. And I will talk about and give you my thoughts on who's going to win. Because that's going to be tough, man. But we'll see. But let me hurry up and get off here because I don't want this to end on me and say I can't download it. So I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Thanks, guys. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget, if you can believe it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.
You guys know I appreciate it. And remember, folks, always, always treat people how you want to be treated, and everything will be okay. This is NBA Jerry, and I'll talk to you soon.